What's up legends? In the most recent buff everything update, the Arc Thrower received one of the biggest changes out of the bunch, increasing its range by over 50%, doubling its durable damage, and I just had to give it a go once again. It was my favorite support weapon for a while in the early days, so I was very excited to give it a try, and boy, it did not disappoint. Also, I must mention, as a lot of you pointed out, and honestly, I did not notice until you guys did, the shield generator pack is currently glitched as it takes no damage from melee attacks whatsoever. Which, looking back at it now, I have no clue how I didn't notice that. But either way, with that in mind, the following gameplay, we purposely avoid using the shield generator pack, and matter of fact, we will continue to do so until something is done about it, or if the developers announce that it's actually done on purpose which i don't think it is but yeah anyways nonetheless in the following gameplay we bring the arc thrower the laser dog rover the amazing orbital napalm barrage and of course our trusty 500 kilo bomb for weapons we use the blitzer which actually doesn't get much use and the grenade pistol with the thermite grenade and god damn it i love the new thermite grenade so with that being said let's go ahead and jump right into the gameplay all right let's do this i'm super excited to test it out the arc thrower got a massive massive buff to the range to the oh wait one of these extraction zones bug breach coming all right hit you with the napalm barrage then i absolutely love dumping the napalm barrages nowadays on the on the bug breaches dude look it's just gonna shut it down completely To get some space here before I call in the Arctador and the Guard Dog Rover. Look at that thing go! Beautiful, dude. 60 kills without having to lift a single finger. 70 kills. 80 kills. Oh my god, it's beautiful. So much democracy. Um, there is a bug nest here. I guess we could kind of test out the arc thrower here on these little guys. Let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, let's look for good place, good high ground. Actually, this should kind of do because there's this little ramp here. Beautiful, dude. One hit per bug. So solid. How many hits is it per hive guard? Still alive. Two. Still alive. Three died. Okay. The hive guards are still a bit tankier. Still though. Holy crap. I rid of the entire bug nest with just a couple of zaps. Find the blizzard to be little bit better at dealing with these little guys. They're annoying as heck. The arc thrower just kind of... It's a bit too long for my taste to charge up to deal with these little guys. The pouncers. Oh god. There we go. But yeah, they increased the arc thrower's range, I believe, from 35 to 55. Oh god. No! Careful, laser! <laughs> Don't do that to me. You're gonna be my biggest enemy this game, aren't you? You're probably gonna kill me at least once. I feel it. But yeah, I have no idea what that range increase means. 35 to 55. I know it's like 35 to 55 like meters or whatever, but... Uh, essentially, what you need to know is the range pretty much increased by about like 50 percent which is a massive range increase one of the biggest issues about the arc thrower was the range and this is no longer the problem look at this zap that guy all the way back there god still too many dead bodies oh i hear someone trying to sneak up on me huh my god dude it's so good it's so beautiful
get a oh, there's too many dead bodies I gotta get a little bit of a high ground here again use this little rock they've also increased its durable damage I think it was like from like 40 to 100 or 50 to 100 something like that I still don't think it's gonna be a good choice for dealing with durable enemies but get some, get some! maybe I'm wrong I hope I'm wrong uh where's the bug oh it's all the way up there I wanted to throw the napalm barrage on it just gonna save my napalm barrages pretty much for bug breaches If possible. Oh god, this is perfect, dude. This is perfect for zapping him down. Right there for me. Oh! Oh! Oh, no way, dude! Dude, the hunters were just chilling there and then out of nowhere just decided to go hardcore parkour on me. Oh no, that totally caught me off guard. I was just focused on the zap. Oh wait, wait, this was a bad call. Bad move. Excuse me, sir. Oh shit, don't mind me. Yes, go down there, charger. Good boy. Have a taste of democracy. Look at that barrage go crazy. Pick a water. What the hell? Where are you going, bro? God, it's so beautiful. Look at it go. Actually, I actually want to test. Mm, well, I actually wanted to test just throwing it once at its face. You guys have told me just one thermite to the face of it and then... And, oh, wait, that didn't kill it. I think one blew up the armor and the other one just, like, kind of fell off. Oh, speaking of falling off. Yeah, you guys told me that uh, apparently one thermite is enough to kill a Biotitan and a Charger if you stick it to their face. So I really want to... Oh, that almost landed. Woo, what a shot. But yeah, I want to test out the Thermite on the... Uh, either a Charger or a Bile Titan. Try to get it with one hit. That's actually crazy, isn't it? One Thermite kill. One Thermite's enough for a Charger or a Bile Titan kill. That's amazing. Honestly, I've been loving the buffs so far because now they can just kind of worry about increasing the like amount of enemies we face rather than just like make us feel weaker. They can increase the challenge of the game. Oh god, wait. Uh, I'm actually kind of getting surrounded here. God dang it. Dude, I hate Alpha Commander so much. They're so tough. Oh, that blew up the shit out of that Alpha Commander. I love the new 500 Kilo. It's actually really good at, like, dealing with uh, swarms of enemies as well. Mm, that might have been a premature call. Ooh, okay, still 20 kills. That's good. Gotta to top off here. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't don't throw the resupply towards the swarm. Throw it away from the swarm. That was a mistake. Now I'm not gonna be able to reach that very easily. Get 
Okay, we're good. God, it's so good, dude. The crowd control on it is so insane. Holy shit, I love it. But yeah, as I was saying, they can just increase the difficulty of the game by like increasing the amount of enemies we have to face. Instead of like making us feel weaker and be weaker, they can just make it so that there's so many enemies to deal with that you kind of just can't. And I feel like that's a much funner way to do it. wasn't working when I was trying to shoot that direction. Kind of wait for them to get closer. There we go. Yes. So good, dude. When the railgun was nerfed the first time around, I remember there was a phase where I pretty much only used the arc thrower for a long time. I did use the arc thrower with the shield generator pack, though. I do prefer the shield generator pack against terminids. A lot of people just call it a crutch, but honestly, for me, the, the shield generator pack is, uh, it just frees up a lot of, like, movement. You can play a lot more aggressively without as much punishment, which I find a bit funner to do, because I, I love playing aggressive, as you guys know, or may know. See if I can kind of close off that bug hole there on the extraction zone that I that I left behind. I thought maybe the napalm barrage would have closed it, but I guess not. That's definitely the Seaf Artillery, isn't it? And I think there might be a Spore Spewer. Maybe even two Spore Spewers next to that. Ooh, damn. Careful. Did that not... Okay. Dude, that took so long to blow up, or am I crazy? Wow, dude, holy shit. Okay, so 55 meters is still... We're still good for this distance. That's crazy, bro. That's actually really far. Damn it! I'm just gonna blindly shoot into it while the napalm does this thing. Holy fuck, man. Did they ever change the fire animation back to what it used to be? Because I... Like, it, it doesn't look as good as I remember it. I remember when they changed the flame animation, they actually kind of sadly made it look a bit worse. I think the first one landed on its gut. Oh shit. And it killed it too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that like landed on its belly. Because it kind of like 
pop the wheelie before attacking me. these guys going bro <laughs> what the fuck yo the fight is over here bro where are you going why do alpha commanders do that so much i mean i know oh god wait i know they probably do that because oh my god i know they're kind of programmed to like retreat to call on reinforcements but it just looks so goofy when they're just like Scrolling away from combat. <laughs> oh, what the? Okay, bro. Yo, how many? Yo, somebody count that. How many? How many shots was that that it didn't register? No way. Oh, that is so sad. Because of the bodies that was like in front of it. So it was... Not... Um... Wait. Oh, shit. Was that enough for that charger? Oh. Oh. Okay. God damn it. Why was there a puddle of water that slowed me down? Why is there a puddle of water in the middle of nothing? Dude, was that puddle not there? I don't think that puddle was there. And I think like the 500 kilo... Like dug a hole and created that puddle. Am I going crazy? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I have, I have to rewatch that. I'm gonna need to go back and watch that. You like to take the freedom? Beautiful. 30 kills nearly. We're good. Whew. All right, I got a bit, uh, a bit scary there. We lost two lives very quickly. Got to get this SSSD real quick. Hopefully, without calling in for any trouble. Get the SSD and let's just bum rush to the oh the primary objective is actually conveniently close. Let's just rush there first because we only have a grenade pistol to defend ourselves, so that's not that is not ideal. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, laser dog, what are you doing? Half my freaking health, man. Be careful, dude. Watch out how you're shooting at. Please squeeze in here. Mm, nope. Don't think we can. Uh, okay. Alright, we called in the bug breach. This is gonna be perfect. Let's get a bit of distance now. Go, 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 go. Forever. Yes. That 
is beautiful. Dude, that's like 80 kills guaranteed with that freaking thing. Holy shit. I have used the Orbital Napalm Barrage now probably 10 times. And I have been blown away by it every single time. Like, I think, like, with those 10 throws, I probably got, like, over 500 kills with, like, 10 uses. Unbelievable. Love it. All right. If we can do this. Mm, we got a lurking hive guard. So far, so good, though. What? Come over here. Don't want you calling a bug breach on me. Ooh. Get rid of that. It's blocking my view. bit to the left all right just a tiny bit tiny touch beautiful bam dude i just realized we've 20 minutes left still holy shit all right i'll do all the side of or at least i'll try to do all the side objectives after completing this uh, main objective I didn't even realize it, but I just kind of bum-rushed the main objective without... Yeah, that body's on the way. Blocking it. What if I aim, like, re Oh! Oh, that actually works! You guys weren't kidding! Oh, wow! That's the new meta? Shoot into the sky? Oh, that's an impeller. That's the first one this game. Couple thermites for you, buddy. There we go, boys. Dude, the thermites. The thermites trivialize impellers so much, dude. Like, impellers are no longer annoying as shit. You can just throw a couple of thermites on it. And you're good, dude. It is so beautiful. I love it. All right, so we're going to start off with the escape pod data here. And then I think at the south side of the map, we got a sea artillery. And I think, dude, could that be three spore spewers? That could be three spore spewers, dude. That would be crazy, though. I don't think I've ever gotten a three spore spewer game before. Problem is, as you guys may or may not know, um, after we completed the the main objective, now the patrols are gonna be boosted up. Oh god. Hobie! Woo! Look at that go! Yeah. <laughs> nice try, tentacle. What? Is there another one? No? It was the same one, it just delayed, I guess. Oh god, that would have been made me real sad if that killed me. Get some, get some! But yeah, since we completed the main objective, now we're gonna be getting shit tons of patrols and shit tons of reinforcements, so it may be extremely difficult to uh I counted. Oh no, he's still alive. Get some! Get some! 
Okay, I lost counter, but... That was well over, like, 10, 15 shots. I mean, probably some shots were hitting the legs, some shots were hitting the face, but... Still not viable to just try to... Um, no oh shit. Just try to arc throw or the charges. Not a good idea. Ooh, actually, I might want to get the hell out of here. Ooh, there's a big guy coming. Pick where? Is that? That's on his armpit. Oh, shit, dude. You didn't clip it. Yeah, that's his armpit. Okay, that was his arm. Oh, that killed it, though. God, I love the new thermite so much, dude. But yeah, that's what I love about it. You know, so far it kind of feels like since they buffed everything, it doesn't necessarily feel like there's much of a meta anymore. Everything just feels so good. It's like everything is good. Dropping a pin. We'll go towards the... We'll go towards the artillery first and then we'll, we'll kind of see what we got around us. I honestly think there's two spore, two to three spore spewers there, but that's a bit much. I don't even know if that's possible. Three, I mean. I've seen plenty of maps with two, but... Oh crap, we got a bug reach. Oh, napalm barrage. This will have to do. Get some! Get some! I want to take too long though. I don't think I've ever successfully. I mean, I haven't tried many times, but I don't think I've ever successfully done a Sea Artillery after beating the game on max difficulty. Because there's just way too many patrols while you're trying to juggle shells around. Let's see if we can pull it off. Okay, so there's our first horse spewer. How many? Th it should only be one thermite to kill it, right? 2,000 damage. That's like as strong as a rail cannon strike. That should be enough, right? Find out. See. Oh, no, I guess it's two thermites. And I see the other one there. Two thermites per spore spewer. Gets rid of them. Pretty good. I only have one here, though. Just do the napalm barrage since uh, probably a shit ton of bugs around as well. Although I could have just grenade pistoled it, huh? <laughs> I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that like at all. We got three side objectives done. Oh my god. That's the fog of another spore spewer, isn't it? Three spore spewers, dude. I have never seen that before. Maybe I have, but I just don't remember. But holy crap, that is a lot. I wonder what's the maximum amount you can get. I wonder if you could get five of the same. Like, that'd be crazy. Imagine, like, five shrieker nests. Like, I would absolutely hate that. <laughs> I know there are some that don't repeat. Like, I think SAM sites don't repeat. Sea artilleries don't repeat. And rogue stations don't repeat. What else doesn't repeat? Did that kill it? How'd you like the taste of 
Oh my god, bro. You, I knew it. I knew you were gonna be my downfall at least once. Dude, it headshotted the living shit out of me. That was nice aim though at least. I'll give you that. Piece of shit. Oh my god, it spawned back up, instantly shooting me again. Why don't you use the guard dog rover more often? That's why. <laughs> Honestly, it is pretty good, but... I've done so much team damage already this game. It is quite solid though, you can't deny it. Oh god, I almost died to a pouncer. trying to zap those alpha commanders they just keep spawning in warriors Say hello to the trying to flank me dude oh you flanked me all right that got real scary Yark throw is just an absolute monster now, dude. Well, we got another impeller. And I just want to stick it with some thermites. Kilo bomb though. Get out. That was such a stupid move. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was horrible in every sense of the word. I don't think the 500 kilo bomb even killed a single one. But now nah, I'm gonna double down. I want that kill. Where is the freaking impeller going? Okay. I done goofed, boys. I done goofed. The impeller didn't even. Oh, we are so freaking dead. Oh, oh no! Go go go! Oh, is that enough? Oh, that's enough. Oh my God! Is one blitzer shot enough? To send it back down onto Sounds the ground. Like the oh god. Oh, oh, I did not notice that spore charger. Even though there's a lot of fog around me. Probably should have. Come on, let's do this. This is our main mission now, boys. We gotta complete this. We'll risk it all for this. Oh god, we got chargers. Oh shit, I hit the leg. Turn it on. Come on. I know you can do that little thing to throw the shell up, but I suck at doing it. And I always throw it in the wrong direction. Oh no. Okay, that, that landed on its neck. Just one is gonna be enough. I just gotta stay alive long enough. There's more patrols than I can handle. We only picked up two shells so far. Down equipment package. 
They're all explosive too. Three shells ready to go. Four chargers somewhere. Did that land on it? It did. Oh no, you're still up. Oh my god, dude. I am so glad the stim was rolling. Did I not land on its face? I thought I did. Oh, thank you for getting stuck. Stay right there. Stay right there. Okay, the fire people got you. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's go around. Go, 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 go. This is the main mission, boys. We have to complete the Seaf Artillery. We have to do it. Oh my god, we got another impeller. I got nothing. Now I do. That's four shells. Two in. Let's go, boys. We're doing it. YOLO. Hope that landed on its neck. Let the napalm do what it does best. Oh my god, laser dog. Oh god. Oh my god. At least my stim timing has been perfect. Oh! Can we put in the other shell? Ooh, crap. We got an ampuller and a bile titan. Come on. Oh, that's four in, boys. We only need one more. We can do this. Protect me, dude. Come on, dog rover. Oh, no, I can't climb it up. Okay. Freedom never sleeps. The rover just has to sneak some team damage somehow, don't you? Oh, my God. That tossed me around. Oh. Fuck it. I was gonna use it on the Bile Titan, but... Oh, wait, actually, that might still do it. Oh, please tell me that got the Charger. Let's go around, boys. Oh, my God. We got a Spore Charger as well. Where's the high... Uh, high yield explosive thing? I think I got... It nearly up. Okay, that's a kill. Oh, my God. No! Oh, you picked up the sample. It wasn't meant to pick up the sample. Oh no! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Move, move, Ready move, to move. No, I can't do it. Didn't pick up the rover. Oh my god. We have to pull this off. No, oh, please. Hunters, get the fuck out of my way. I need more stims, dude. Go, 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 go. Hopefully, you have better aim than your buddy there. Oh my god, there's a bunch of alpha commanders on it. Get the hell out of there. Let me put in the shell. Oh, can I reach it? Oh, I can't reach it. Dude, there's far too many. I need my napalm barrage. For prosperity. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Try to get rid of this swarm. Go, 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 go. No! Why, dude? Let me put in the goddamn shell. Oh my god. We have a window of opportunity here. Oh, no, we don't. Oh! Well, it was a good, good... Wait, what? I thought it was over. So you're saying I have a chance? Okay, no, we do not have a chance. <laughs> Fuck it, dude, I'm out of here. Mission failed, boys. Abort mission. Don't leave without me. Kind of funny how they just reinforce a hell diver just to run all the way back to the extraction zone just to get out again go 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 please don't leave me god damn it we failed our mission boys we failed the safe artillery it's so hard after you complete the mission there's just so much reinforcements it's Way too much. We got a hell bomb here. Oh, actually, you might have a support weapon here, don't you? What do you got, boys? You got something for me? No. Nope. You fuck off. Go, 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 go. Please don't leave without me. I like how I left samples in three different places in the map. <laughs> well, I see one little guy making its way towards the extraction zone. Seems clear though. I think we can maybe get in and try to defend it for these 30 seconds, maybe. God. God. Uh, too far. ETA T minus ten seconds. Clear landing zone. Oh God, we gotta hold it down. Come on, Pelican One, hurry up. Turn on the nitrous. Oh my God! Come on, Pelican One, hurry up! Yes. Uh, all right, we'll take it. We failed our mission, but we go home and don't tell anybody. Overall, man, the arc thrower is really, really, really good. Honestly, as I was playing, I was kind of thinking it may actually even work against automatons because of the increased durable damage. Look at that, Sif artillery. Gosh, dang it. But yeah, it might honestly work against the automaton with the increased durable damage. Like, I wonder, like, if it's... If it could perform well against Devastators and such. But yeah, overall, I am absolutely... Also, sorry, like, going back there uh, to automatons. Also, the increased range is gonna help out, like, a lot. Like, a lot. You don't have to be... Uh, really up close to your enemies anymore. You can just kind of snipe them with your arc thrower at this point. So yeah, I honestly want to test it out against automatons. But yeah, I am absolutely loving the arc thrower. I loved the railgun. The arc thrower felt a lot better for solo play, like a lot better than the railgun because of, you know, the crazy. Ooh, that's actually quite good. Fifteen forty-eight, and honestly, it didn't even feel like that packed of a game that's actually really good that's like near my 2000 kill record and that didn't even that wasn't that difficult but yeah anyways the arc thrower is massive and it's really 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 good for solo play as well because of the crowd control and it can pretty much like handle everything i mean just the arc thrower and the thermite alone and you can handle like chargers spore chargers impalers bile titans and 
all of the little guys so you're pretty you're pretty solid dude just by bringing in the arc thrower and the thermite you pretty much cover all grounds and then everything else is just up to you to pick but yeah thank you guys very much for watching man that was a very fun game i'll be catching you legends on the next one peace